Kikunida I cannot render assistance. You could call no no ba mulera tikun. Rashi on the Uncompa, Chin Tondo Mutuba. Not an eater could catch you, Kun Ida Hodonga. Eek Takom Justak Miki Grabber Mop. Catch you, Kun Ida Hodonga. Eking Kuno Bamulera Chikun. Stimo Manaman Atota. Jukrata Bola Shui Chongatong Chongkun Kachikun Ida Hodong Takum Justak Miki Grabble Mogo Kachichu Ita Tolpad Takum Just Runda di Hodonga Kun Hunka B. Chikun Ida Hodonga Tong Abog Sha Umnin Greetings, young Padawan. I trust your training goes well. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Kukumo no ba mulera chiku. 
one and the one
Dama Paule Rachiku. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave. rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. have learned much, yet there is much more for you to still understand. The way of the Jedi must be entered into with a clear and focused mind. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Do not worry. I am confident in your ability to learn. We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and not you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. 
Well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Yeah, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? You got it. has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. 
Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready? Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fa I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the Dark Side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the Dark Side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, 
a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the Grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order, as the... Ah, yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. I hope the Jedi Council will listen to Dara. Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us? Protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge from... I will give you all I have. Just please, annihilate them from the face of this planet.
Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my... We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not closed. I went to see, and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find it. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Can't help me. It must have been... No. The door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Well, yes, it could have. But he had no reason to run away. His programming... Well, yes... He is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor past away husband I have left. He is he's the only companion. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gate. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you. Thank you.
Not so much as where I am going to, but where I am going away from. I'm afraid my own she she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought her. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you just... But, but why? Phew. You're right. How could I be so selfish? I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return. Ah! 
What? Thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry, I'm gonna hug you and oil you and you and make sure you never ever again. Thank you. 